Obviously, that was a slog in the mud, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was. It wasn't uh, the greatest conditions uh, I've ever played in, but um, I think we huffed and puffed. Um, <clears throat> and I uh, had a few chances, didn't take them, and they, they took their, their chance that they've got. And fortunately, like I say, it's huffing and puffing in the, in the mud, and we didn't quite get that breakthrough. The boss said it was a good hit from O'Toole, but I think he was a bit frustrated by how the ball got there and implying that it might have been clear. Did you, did you think that it, it should have gone yeah, somewhere? Yeah, I mean, well, the ball's come in and it's skidded off the, off the mud. It's come to me chest out. I couldn't really do much, so I've just tried to get something on it and I've gone for the next challenge and it's deflected out to the edge of the box. And um, and uh, it's just it's just it first time and it's running, just gone in the bottom corner. I had a similar sort of shot second half. It's come out to me and I've caught it on the half volley and it's just just creep wide and they yeah, the margins at the minute and they're not going for us. Somebody tweeted us during the commentary that four wins in 18, I'm not sure whether that stat is right or not, but it, it, if it is, that's not a great run, is it? No. Um, yeah, I think um, we've not won this calendar year. Um, so, um, very frustrating. Um, uh, obviously, no one's happy with it and we, we want to turn that around as quickly as possible. So. We can only work it as hard as we can in the week, building up to Saturday and we've got a home game against Wickham that um, we're looking to get through the points from. You've seen enough tables to, to know that it can change a bit, a bit at this point. Do, do you see it becoming a bit of a concertina in the bottom half? Um, I think so. I think if, if you look today, if we'd won today, we'd have gone up to the 10th. I think um, so. It's still, it's still quite tight, you know. Um, I mean, we've got to, we've got to make sure we pick up a few points in the next few weeks, but. Um, it's all pretty tight. Um, <clears throat> whether we are a bit far off it, I'm not sure. Uh, I'll have to look at the table. But you know, we're going to fight to the very end. That's all we can do. And, um, try and give everything we've got and, and um, win more games. And the thing is, I suppose people will look at the, who you're playing and saying, you know, if you, it's it's important to win certain games against the sides around you. And if if you don't, the situation just becomes magnified, doesn't it? Yeah, and I think that's. Um, Saturday's a prime example of that. We uh, need to beat Wickham, um, and that's what we're looking to do. Like you say, we we just need to win games, um, get that first one under our belt, and go from there. It's uh, been difficult, but um, you know all we can do is work hard and uh, and help each other and, and stick together and, and, and get through this little patch. Really. Is it getting to a point where the first goal in every game is is, is the key goal? Saturday there wasn't a goal at all tonight. Rovers got the noses in front of them. Just we better cling on for dear life after that. Yeah, the first goal is massive in uh, this league. Yeah, in any league, the first goal is a, a big game changer. You know, um, we had two great chances before Rovers scored uh, two one on ones. Um, so you know, you know, if we take them, we go in the lead, and then teams struggling at the foot of the table. You know, how do they react to that? But it's, they're the breaks that are not happening for us at the moment. So all we can do, like I said, is, is work hard, and hopefully, then breaks will, will come. Right. So you, you set one of those chances up, didn't you, in, in the early part of the game for Curious and I think with the ball yeah. over the top and that, that could have been so different if he, he doesn't miss too many, does he? But no, yeah, good, good Kuro, Kuro is a good finisher, he, is, he shows it day in, day out in training. And to be fair, I've had a, a lot of money on him scoring there, one-on-one uh, -on -one with the keeper, but um, I think the keeper's made a good reaction save to me, to be fair. But um, it's one of the things that goes in. And then Sammy's chance, more or less, a few minutes after, you know, it's just the breaks that aren't happening for us, like I said, and um, we need to make sure when we get a chance in front of the goal that we take it and, and be ruthless, which we've not done of late. Yeah, everyone, everyone could see it was difficult conditions. So, yeah. with, with the goal, do you think it was just there wasn't a lot you could have done? You couldn't really get rid of it first time? Um, I, I, if I could, I would, I would have just yeah. put my head, head on it. You know, I'd have, it, I thought it was coming to my foot and it just skipped up off the, off the mud and. Uh, Nine times out of ten, that was stuck in the mud, and I'd just clear it, and it just skipped up and it came up my chest height, so I didn't have time to react. But just flipped up in the air and went for the second ball, and it's gone straight to him through a rickshaw, two of us. So yeah, it's just one of them things that could have gone anywhere, and it went straight to him, and he stuck it in the bottom corner. And that's why we're not getting the breaks, and they have tonight. Yeah, do, do, are you starting to worry about? Maybe getting dragged into it now. Do you think it's a win on Saturday would just e ease the pressure a little bit? We need to win games. That's there's no getting away from that. But um, no, I think we're still mid-table. We're looking, looking at that area. Um, 
we, I mean, tonight I thought we played decent second half. We had numerous chances and we did the first half as well. It's just a matter of taking them chances. I think um, the longer the run goes on, then the, the more it will become apparent. But at the moment, I think we've got plenty of time. And if we just keep working hard and, and creating chances like we are, then hopefully it'll turn for us. Yeah, and you've had a couple of good results here since you've been the champion, but do you think we'll get a bit of stick now from your Rovers mates? Because uh, they, they they really needed a result tonight, didn't they? And, yeah, they did. Um, I don't know whether they'll get a stick, I don't know, but um, they'll, they'll be chuffed with the result. I'll be uh, a bit disappointed, but, you know, all in all, we, we should have done better tonight, and, and we didn't, and we're, we're disappointed. Yeah, just on Troy, he looked in a bit of pain when he went off with the ankle, so do you think uh, he might have another... A different back four. I know you played with Sid at right back many a time, but you think you could, 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 you got any idea how he is? Yeah. Um, yeah, I spoke to Troy. He sort of went over on his ankle, so um, I don't know how bad it is. I'll let's go to the medical staff to see and, uh, and, and assess tomorrow yeah. and Thursday. But um, yeah, if he if he has gone over on his ankle and it's ankle link damage, then it'll be a be a few weeks, I'd, I'd guess. So <clears throat> yeah, it's a back four, but I think um, Michael's played centre half a couple of times and, and Sid. Slotting at right back, no problem. So hopefully we can just um, stick that back forward, and it'll it'll go out as done before. Yeah. Right. Cheers, Steve. Cheers.